So I have before me the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro and the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 5. Two laptops with i7 12700H CPUs, RTX 3060 GPUs, and 16 gigs of RAM. However, I think you'd be surprised that the more affordable laptop actually outperforms the more expensive laptop. Now, this laptop comes in retail at about $3,600. It can be found online at discounts of about $2,100, give or take, whereas the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro is around $16 to $2,100 I mean, depending on the features you get, but the max you'll see is probably around $2,100. And so this professional, more regal looking laptop comes with a much larger price tag. However, like I said, this one outperforms it and we'll check out the benchmarks later in the video. But first and foremost, let's check out the build quality, the assembly and the features and functionality of each of the laptops. So we can see from that standpoint, which one you like better. Now, when we're looking at the weight and thickness of the two laptops, the X1 Extreme definitely stands out as the better contender. It is thinner, it is lighter, and it has much more of a unique carbon fiber aesthetic. However, we have an aluminum build quality on the Legion 5i Pro and many more ports. You can see on the back here, we have a network port. We have USB type C, HDMI to USB type A's. Those are not featured on the back of the X1 Extreme. However, we do have an HDMI and two USB type C's on the left side panel, as well as our headphone jack. On the left side panel of the Legion 5 Pro, we have two USB type C's. Now flip both laptops over and you reveal an SD card reader for the X1 Extreme. Great for photographers and 4K video editors if you're using an SD card. And of course we have two USB type A's. On the right side of the 5i Pro, we have a USB type A, as well as a headphone jack and a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. So from a connectivity standpoint, if you're looking for more expansive connectivity, you should go with the Legion 5i Pro. However, if you're looking for more specific connectivity, like an SD card reader, the X1 would be your choice. Now, regarding the assembly of the laptops, both are assembled very well. You can see the bottom cover fits into the side panel very nicely on the X1, as well as the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Lenovo assembles and builds their laptops with great care and precision. It's one of my favorite thing about the laptop brand. Now, as we go and try to open and close the lid with one hand, both laptops do that easily. And then we'll go ahead and do a quick screen flex test as well. So you can see very minimal screen flex on the Legion 5i Pro and very minimal screen flex on the X1 Extreme. Now, both laptops do come equipped with webcams and here's a quick sample of each of the webcams in use. This is the camera on the Legion 5i Pro and a little audio sample for you as well. When I back up a little bit, it kind of mellows out. When I get really close, I'm really close to my light. So the camera actually looks pretty good, especially for that 720p webcam. So this is the webcam on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 5 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now regarding the speakers, we have some upward facing speakers on the X1 Extreme and we don't have those same upward facing speakers on the 5i Pro. Here's a quick audio audio sample of each of the speakers in use. Now, in regards to the keyboards, I honestly prefer the X1 Extreme keyboard. It just makes more sense for me. I'm not a big numpad user, and I like to have my trackpad centered. Now, in regards to the trackpads, they are the exact same size. However, it's a little bit different feel to the click of the trackpad. This is a little bit louder, a little bit uh, snappier click. It's a little more diffused, dampened click. And we have the three click buttons on top of the trackpads. That's great for like 3D modeling programs or rendering programs where you wanna like look around an object. Those come in handy very nicely. Now here's a quick audio sample of me using both keyboards and trackpads so you can hear what they sound like.
In regards to the screen, you're gonna get a slightly better panel out of the X1 Extreme. It's gonna have better color accuracy, color gamut range, and a tiny bit more brightness. So if you're looking for a better screen, I would choose the X1 Extreme. It'd be great for photographers, graphic designers, digital artists, and video editors looking to do some really good color grading and match up their colors more precisely. Now, in regards to battery life, it really isn't a competition. I was surprised at how poor of battery life the X1 Extreme offered us. From what I can tell, the main reason is the Lenovo Vantage Center versus the Lenovo Commercial Vantage Center. Now, on the Lenovo Vantage Center, as you can see here, we have a GPU working mode. What this allows us to do is switch over to hybrid iGPU only. So what this does is it turns off the dedicated GPU, and that allows us to save on power consumption by only running on the processor. When we go over to the Lenovo Commercial Vantage Center, you can see that all we have is a setting called intelligent cooling. And basically all that does is it listens to what performance mode your battery settings are on in the power mode inside of Windows. So it's far less sensitive and creates far less control over the power consumption, which offered you less battery life in all aspects of the battery life tests. As far as thermal management was concerned, the Legion 5i Pro and the X1 Extreme are fairly close. However, the X1 Extreme seemed to run a little bit cooler on average because it really focused on keeping the laptop cool and it didn't allow you to push the laptop as hard as you'll see in the performance section of the video in just a minute. So as far as thermals are concerned, you know, you'd have to give it to the ThinkPad, but you could easily get just as good a thermals. You just tweak the settings and, and get those thermals from the Lenovo Vantage Center. Lenovo has sent over three Legion 5 Pros and as soon as we pass 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video out and drop it a like if you want to help us reach 100,000 subscribers faster so we can kick off the giveaway. Now before we jump into the performance benchmarks, I want to let you know that they both have really good upgrade paths. You can upgrade both RAM sticks and you have access to two M.2 slots. So overall punch for punch, you're not going to have to worry about the upgrade path on either of these laptops. Now jumping into the simulated benchmarks, you can see we have Geekbench single core and multi-core coming up on the screen. It looks as if the ThinkPad is going to be right in line with the Legion 5i Pro. Even in single core, it actually kind of takes a step above. And as we move into Cinebench R20, however, the 5i Pro definitely takes a lead by over a thousand points above the ThinkPad X1 Extreme. Moving into Cinebench R23, we see the 5i Pro take a step above there and in Cinebench R23 multi-core as well. So punch for punch, it's looking like the 5i Pro is the better performer right out of the gate. Now, as we get into the Blender Classroom benchmark, they're both pretty much on the bottom of the chart, and that's because the RTX 3060 is not the best GPU for Blender. Blender likes a lot of GPU power. There's a lot that's happening in Blender that really consumes a lot of GPU. So the 3070 Ti's are really showing off here as the better GPU for Blender. And as you can see, the RTX 3060 is kind of sit on the lower end of the chart. But with that in mind, the 5i Pro is beating out the X1 Extreme. Now going into 3D modeling, that's where we see that the competition starts to fade as we score a 200 in Autodesk 3ds Max versus the 138 from the X1 Extreme. Going into Autodesk Maya, you can see that the Legion 5i Pro scores a 289 compared to the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme at a 168. Looking at PTC Creo, once again, we see the 5i Pro at a 200 and the X1 Extreme at a 130. Now things kind of leveled off a little bit as we got into SolidWorks, a 77 versus a 99. Both laptops aren't great in SolidWorks. I recommend workstation GPUs or AMD GPUs for SolidWorks. But as you can see so far, the 5i Pro is pretty much kicking the pants off of the X1 Extreme. Now, things took a little bit of a pullback when we got into Photoshop. Photoshop really allowed optimization of the X1 Extreme pretty well at a 909, but that's still compared to the 5i Pro at a 970. So almost a 70 point advantage. However, with the SD card reader and the better screen, I'd honestly pick the X1 Extreme over the 5i Pro because it has some of those features that are better for photographers, graphic designers, and digital artists looking for a color accurate display, an SD card reader, and some of the more basic features 
you know, maybe you don't need the numpad or et cetera. Now, as we get into After Effects, you can see that the 5i Pro scored a 907 versus the 678. So from an After Effects perspective, I would definitely lean you towards the 5i Pro. Now, moving into video editing, looking at Premiere Pro Playback, they were both pretty much neck and neck for, of course, 4K zero drop frames. 6K B-RAW, they were pretty close, but then as we got into red footage, the 5i Pro just had a substantially less drop frames. And so for video editing, I'm again gonna lead you towards the 5i Pro, especially when you see these export times. As we get into the 4K export time, you can see it was a six minute and 54 second export out of the X1 compared to a two minute and 36 second export out of the 5i Pro. I mean, it just isn't even a competition. And like I said, at about half the price, it just, it's, it's a best bang for buck. I've heard a lot of people say, well, sometimes it's not about the best bang for buck. Well, then there you go, the X1 Extreme. Super professional, carbon fiber, SD card reader, double the price, have your pick. Now, moving on to 6K, it was even more shocking at a 25 minute export time from the X1 versus a 14 minute and 43 second export time out of the 5i Pro. Punch for punch, if it were me and I had to go best bang for buck, I would go Legion 5i Pro all day. However, if I needed that slightly more color accurate screen, I wanted some upward facing speakers for a better audio experience, and I liked a more dampened trackpad with a simplified keyboard, I could see why you might want to go with the X1 Extreme. Again, links will be in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or check the live pricing. Likes of this video has brought you some value, and of course, don't forget to subscribe so we can get to 100,000 subscribers and kick off that giveaway. I'll see you here in the next video.